Has your eyesight also gone bad along with your brains? Can't you see I was busy with an important call? Mr. Khan, but I needed to tell you something about this call. Do you know, Mr. Khan, the person who attacked Aunt wasn't a goon from the village council of Mangalpur. When mother was attacked, Miriam's father was talking to me on the phone. And he told me he's coming here to come and get her. Okay, I agree. I'm saying that man was not It's from not Mangalpur. good for you to interfere in everything. We found out that Miriam's father had called you from his place in Mangalpur. They were leaving for Bhopal to get Mariam when the police from another district found them and arrested them for the murder of a couple. The couple had eloped and got married. So you mean to say that Mangalpur's village head and his men are not responsible for my mother's attack? Mr. Khan, we should interact with the owners of all the four companies as soon as possible and start the investigation. I'm sure we'll find out something. But I don't understand why any of them would want to attack mother. I don't know what's going on, but I found out that the conspiracy is somehow linked to Dilshad and her family. I'm pretty sure that's why you sent someone to get rid of her. Answer me, Razia! Yes. Dilshad, please think. What else did you hear it say? Look here, the voices were not that clear, Rashid. I just heard two people's voices. They were actually talking about some doll factory. It has already been confirmed that the person who attacked Aunt with a gun actually worked for Phoenix Security. Which means that the person who hired him probably also has some connection with Phoenix Security, Mr. Khan. I honestly think there's a name in the list which we're missing, don't you think? Why didn't you understand that Grandma may be trying to tell us the truth? She picked up on it when Aunt was telling us all about how someone had shot Asad's mother. Grandma is telling us over and over, a conspiracy is going on in this house. You should be more careful. I didn't fall in. I was pushed on purpose. Razia pushed me to fall in the water. I will be giving you half of the amount promised for Dilshad's murder. I will have to call you again to complete that for me. I'll give you the rest after. If Mr. Rashid Khan wanted to protect you, then why did they shoot you? Because now I have found something about the doll factory conspiracy a big clue. On the day of the incident, Rashid had taken Najma to the factory and everything that happened there got recorded in that doll. What recorded? Oh no, there is someone in there. What did I, what have I just done? I have killed somebody. Oh my goodness. The true doll factory conspiracy will never be brought to light. Nobody will ever find out that the murder was not Rashid's crime. It was mine. You'll have to shoot me before him. I will not let you kill your own father. My father died 17 years ago, <laughs> Mom. That man before me now is just a criminal. Asad, I beg you, do not. Move now. Ah. I will kill you. I will kill you. Stop, Dad. No. Leave her! This woman, this woman has ruined my life! No, I, I promise I didn't do anything. I didn't hire men to shoot Dalshad, believe me. The police just arrested your father. Please do something. Mother, please calm down. The doctor said you have no, to I'm rest. No, I'm absolutely fine. Please don't worry about me. Just save your father. The police arrested him. He... I know. You know? How so? Because I informed the police. Asad, ask yourself this question sometime. Are you punishing your father for lighting fire in that doll factory? All those years ago? Or are you exacting revenge on him for leaving your mother? Be very honest.